This one is uh, showing technicians the different steps uh, of an EEV. So this EEV has like 250 steps and each one of these is a 12 volt pulse. It's going to open or close uh, this little pin position. Okay. Hold this with one hand okay. and then just tap this in a sequence. You feel the magnetic uh, uh -huh. field? Kind I of do, just yeah. turning, yep, turning the inner wheel there. So do I do that? Like yes, I just keep you cranking do it, in a sequence. it over, over, and over, yep. and over? Yep. And it'll open? Yep. Wow. And then you I'm go glad, in the, in the reverse direction. I'm glad that direction. this is not a manual process in real life. Yes, yes, yeah. So 256 times you have to do that. You can see the wheel rotate. So we've cut this open. We've actually cut a tubing cut, use a tubing cutter to cut the stainless steel cap off so you can see the magnet on the inside. It looks like a regular magnet, but there's actually 20 holes on this. So 10 north and 10 south, and they're alternating. And so it lines up with the teeth on the inside of the EEV in order to be able to just turn it a little bit at a time. This is the electrical training board to replicate a gas furnace and air conditioning system. Okay. And so we have the little magnetic jumpers, but we can do it on the thermostat as well. So we can go from our R wire over to oh, our fan. Okay. And so it'll turn the fan on with that little uh, relay. fan relay right there. Okay. And then for heating mode, what we do is we go from R to white. Ooh. Oh yeah, you heard that. That's a that relay is relay. hurting. This is your heat exchanger in your gas furnace. And we're also powering that sequencer right there. And yeah. so it's like, it's heating up the heat Hanging exchanger. Away. Yep. And then we'll remove the 24 volt signal for heat. So like the gas would shut down in the gas furnace. Mm -hmm. And we're using the sequencer to allow the fan to continue to run for just a period of time. And so that kind of just gets, for me, I was teaching the low voltage controls to my high school students. Yeah. I teach high voltage first, then low voltage. I give them a shopping list of like all of these relays, make them go and get them themselves. They had to build it based on these measurements, so tape measure measurements. This is a ground, basically the whole thing, this sheet metal is ground. And then, and then build this thing, tell me how it works, like show me how it works. Uh, and then they would start diagnosing it. I would start putting faults into this thing mm. uh, so that they had to find it with their multimeter. They couldn't just, you know, you know, like look. just plug, plug and unplug things. Yeah, yeah. So this one right here replicates a air conditioning system. So that would be your compressor and your outdoor fan. Uh, now you're noticing this indoor fan's not running and that's because I, I just jumped it from R to Y only. Uh -huh. And so in a thermostat, when you turn air conditioning mode on R, 24 volts connects to both Y and G in order to turn your fan on. So some circuit boards when they're powered on Y though, will take care of powering the indoor fan as well, but some don't.